So one of the challenges in healthcare is there's an explosion of digital anatomical information. And uh, we're trying to filter that information and make it very accessible for, uh, for surgeons that it's easier to um, really get all the right information um, at the time when it's most uh, needed and most critical. For example, we can uh, take this, uh, you know, just this huge 3D picture. We can go and uh, cut it in uh, basically 3D. So this is, uh, I said, a you know, 3D crop and, uh, and over here. And you see here the fibers, which are essentially the telephone, um, telephone lines of the human brain. And uh, so really getting all the information together in one display is uh, also critical to ensure that uh, neurosurgical treatments and uh, different types of medical procedures are done with a greater consistency and higher accuracy. So now we can put that and yeah, and down. We can also take one of those uh, views and scroll through the slices. We can zoom them. So when we first introduced it, uh, people said, oh, this is just like a large iPhone. But in fact, we um, had that technology on the market uh, even um, you know, six months before the first iPhone was introduced. And we got the idea from the movie Minority Report. Um, because this is like a very interesting concept of how we can easily manipulate data. And uh, when this is set up in the operating room, when nurses and physicians very quickly need to access the right information at the right time, this is a perfect way of making that simple and straightforward. For, for spinal surgery, it's also critical to get uh, screws um, in the spine placed very precisely. And uh, this uh, technology allows for a very small incision, make sure that you pick the exactly right spot and the right angle, and uh, that has uh, pretty much become standard of care for spinal procedures. So patients that uh, you know, undergo you know, brain or spine surgery in uh, you know, just the Chicago metropolitan area are most likely to get those procedures done with technology from Brainnet because we really have our technology in all the major centers, uh, you know, not just here, but you know, across the country.